everyone, welcome to another thrill-packed edition of ENV 200 Adventures. Oh, I bet you can't contain the excitement. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the uh, the car's BMS system, the, the battery management system. Uh, I've said S, I suppose, I said battery management system system. Uh, anyway, people who are into EVs and know about the issues with the, the 40 kilowatt leaf uh, may be aware, I'm sure you are, that the, the BMS firmware has been updated by Nissan, which is an absolute marvellous thing for it to have happened for leaf owners because basically as we all know that <coughs> excuse me by the second uh, rapid charge on long journeys that this software protection system kicks in to protect the battery and restricts the charge now when we bought the EMV 200 this 40 kilowatt version we assumed that that wouldn't be an issue for this vehicle. Why not? Because it's got, unlike the Leaf, it has a cooling fan system. But oh no, to our absolute disappointment, we found that this too had the same software engineered device or program to monitor uh, your battery temperature when you get to 30 degrees or so that it restricts the charge so we go from 39 kilowatts on an ecotricity and we drop to 24 then the next one you drop into 18 and we've even had it drop down to 12 kilowatts so not good for long journeys as we found out when we drove from Gatwick to Hull last year so I was interested to see uh, James Lemon Tea Leaf uh, and his little video there explaining about his his firmware upgrade and how it's affecting or improving the range of the leaf and I was really excited I thought well if they've done it for the leaf then surely they've got to do it for the EMV 200 but in life things like this are never a guarantee uh, but what I did was I called the dealership well, actually I emailed the dealership and put that to them are there any plans for a, a, a BMS update on the EMV 240 kilowatts? I wasn't very optimistic. I didn't expect to get a, a reply, to be honest. Well, I, you know, not a positive reply, but yesterday, it's been a couple of weeks since I sent the email, and I got a reply yesterday saying, please get in touch. Uh, we, we're going to upgrade your firmware on the... Uh, the, the battery charging system uh, and please get in touch and we'll arrange to pick the vehicle up sort out the firmware and drop it back off again so thank you very much to uh, the Nissan dealership in Hull uh, whose name escapes me right now Trenton Trenton Nissan because I'm driving and I've got kids arguing in the back and my wife sneezing so it's all overloading the brain the brain cells uh, so yeah Trenton Nissan in Hull absolutely can't grumble about them being absolutely really good for us uh, since day one uh, helped us out with various things so yeah we're going to get it in how it will actually work obviously time will tell whether it's just exactly the same as the leaf in that the the, the temperature threshold has been raised before the uh, the restrictive charge kicks in or whether they've been a little bit more creative perhaps because of course we've got the cooling system that in my opinion is not it's not used to, to to the car's benefit i mean it comes on purely when you reach a given temperature and when you're charging uh so so my way of thinking it could come on at other times when the vehicle's packed up for instance you've got a hot battery but you're not charging let that come on then and let it cool the battery because we've seen when we've plugged into a 7 kilowatt charger and that cooling fan does operate or the AC cooling operates and we end up with we, we can drop 15 or 20 degrees in a matter of a couple of hours now if that could be utilized via a software firmware update then absolutely fantastic so 
we don't know what we're getting and until we get the update you know we've got no clue uh, so well, time will tell obviously we'll make a video uh, with the results of how that, that upgrade uh, changes the charging uh, sort of characteristics when we're on rapid charges and so on uh, it, but the, the key thing in this is that Nissan have listened to all the complaints to all the rapid game videos that are out on YouTube and they've actually done something about it which it, it's an absolute shock really for me because I never I never foresaw that they would do that so well done Nissan well done the dealership and as and when we, we get the upgrade we'll come back post again uh, and let you all know what, what's what's happening with it anyway thanks for watching if you've not already uh, subscribed please like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon in the next thrill packed edition of EMB 200 Adventure